Have any of you ever had an eating disorder? Yeah, I, I have. Um, for, uh, well, I, I still, I still have. I still struggle with it. I don't think it's ever going to go. Um, but um, yeah, I did. I had treatment for it. I had some medication. I was on medication for it, and I did go through a lot of um, a lot of uh, CBT sessions, um, which which really really helped. But it's uh, it's so rife right now. I think there's so many people that have problems with eating or unhealthy associations with food, um, sort of, you know, unhealthy coping mechanisms when they feel like they've eaten too much and anxiety around that, or not eating enough and starving yourself to try and look in perfect shape. Um, and it's, 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 it's a massive, it is a massive, it's a massive killer, anorexia. Um, and it's just about, and I think it's quite hard to accept help and I kind of realise that you do need help. Did you but initially it, find it difficult to? Yeah, I, 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 I struggled. I didn't really know. I didn't really think I had an eating issue. I was very. I used to think about food all the time, and and I couldn't. I couldn't function properly. I was kept thinking about food, or have I eaten too much? And it would give me this huge anxiety that I couldn't deal with. Um, and then I would, you know, would cope if I overate in a negative way. So. It was it was it, it was hard to go and accept that I had a problem, but um, I think when you do realise that you have a problem, it's the first step to therapy, and then getting help is, is a little bit easier. But it is noticing that you have a problem, sure. and you might be. And I and I and I, I had friends who were saying, Laura, maybe you should go and get some help. And so I eventually went, and it was it sort of changed my life. Mm, that's really positive. And I know I know that I'm never going to be fully. I'm always going to have to live with having problems with my food but um you know it's, it's a lot better than it was so with with therapy you've learned to, to manage it and yeah help yeah and also just adopting a healthy lifestyle mm -hmm. and a lot of the strategies i learned sort of being more mindful and the, the, the strategies i learned from cbt uh, really helped me move forward so it's it's, mm -hmm. it's great good and nathalie what I've about you, Have you um, had any i struggled i struggled with eating disorders when i was a lot younger and more pressurable, um, probably back when I was 18 to 21. That was miserable and um, and it was, I think most of the girls around me at that age who had some kind of eating disorder, again like we were talking mm. before, the pressures of social media yeah. and looking perfect, it was just... Um, I think at school it was almost like a fashion to have an eating disorder. It was, it was, I remember, so I think that's why I started. Yeah, and actually. I think it was always it was a cool and appreciated and celebrated and I was like, so actually sad. this is... This isn't good. Yeah. What this would you tell younger people if they are struggling with eating disorders? Um, in, I in think they need to, to tell someone yeah. and just yeah. have an open conversation with someone. Um, and why, why, why have they started in the first place? Where is it coming from? Where is it yeah. coming from? Mm -hmm. um, and you know, you have to try and embrace what you have and your confidence and your beauty. And you know, everyone's different, and you just have to. Um, brace, um, yeah. And what would you tell them about therapy that would help them to feel more confident about pursuing that path? Well, it's just you're not judged. Um, sometimes just talking about your anxieties in a safe place really helps to to lower them. And then you can find out why, why, why are you anxious about food? What part of it is it? The food on the table? Is it? You know, um, for me, I used to. I used to sit and watch other people eat and I couldn't vote, have a conversation and I'd sit there with my plate of food and just like pushing it around my plate and I literally couldn't engage with my family around the table so um, I was able to talk about those those things and how I would how I could help my and my family could help me when I was around food because the anxiety was got to a level where I I, I couldn't hold a conversation with my family